I'd rather die than stay away from you. That's awful. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today, we are in a different spot. I'm on my bed because we're gonna kick back and do a marathon. Today, we are going to be re-watching the entire Twilight series. I know I've already done all the Twilight movies on my channel before, but it's time to do a rewatch and experience this at a whole new age, at a whole new era. So let's do it. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. As you can see in most of my videos, I am wearing wireless Raycon earbuds. Raycons are wireless earbuds that come in a wide variety of colors and patterns. They are top-notch quality. They don't have any dangling stems or wires, and they come with fitting caps so you guys can have the perfect fit for you because, sorry to break it to you, but ears are not one size fits all. Raycons come with a wide variety of sizes so you can fit your ear perfectly. Raycons also have a long battery life so you can get up to six hours of playtime on one single charge and that is just amazing. I hate it when I'm watching stuff, especially in a movie commentary when I'm filming and my my freaking earbuds die. I literally hate that because it messes up my whole process so I always stick to Raycons because they don't die while I'm filming and that is what I love. The company was founded by Ray J celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Brandy, J.R. Smith, Mike Tyson, Rich the Kid are obsessed with Raycon. Raycon also has a 45 day free return policy so you can try them out and see if they are the perfect wireless earbuds for you. Like I said earlier, Raycon earbuds give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design for a comfortable noise isolating fit. If you're trying to take a break from screens but don't want to feel totally unplugged, you can use Raycons for literally anything. You can use them while you're listening to a fun workout playlist. You can listen to all different types of music. You can listen to your podcasts, your audiobooks. You can listen to news instead of watch it. They are just the best thing for your everyday life. You guys can click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash trend to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's all I have for today, guys. Thank you, Raycon, for sponsoring today's video. I'd never given much thought to how I would die. She's so dramatic, y'all. She's so dramatic and for no reason. <laughs> I know there's so much wrong with the Twilight series, but I can't help but feel so much joy when I watch it. They're such comfort movies at this point that I have to put aside the big, big issues. Look at that Twilight card. You'll never see another font like the Twilight font, and I love that. It's so beautiful. My dad's Charlie. He's the chief of police. The best character! Oh my god, Dilf time. Yup. Charlie, best character. Best character things, he's the best. He's so cool from the very start. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Jacob. Jacob, baby! Hey! Where have you been, Luca? Oh my god. It's getting worse with old age. <laughs> Jacob definitely gives off cousin vibes. And I know everyone knows what I'm talking about when I say that. There's no way, he's so skinny. Doesn't make sense. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> They're my babies. They're my babies. Mm hmm There they yeah. are! Look at the babies coming in. Colors. Look at my my family. My family. Yeah. Those are my people. Dr. Collins like this foster dad slash matchmaker. <laughs> it actually is super freaking weird. They come in, they move from Alaska and they're all fucking each other. Edward Cohen. Edward, <laughs> babe! Gorgeous, That's... <laughs> yup. But apparently nobody here is good he, enough for him. I love it that they added him smirking because he could like hear I them. Care. Yeah, you stink. <laughs> you smell like shit. I would be so mortified if that happened to me. And, uh, He's like, bitch! Woo! Someone forgot to put on deodorant. I love it that that's their first encounter together. Stinky bitch Bella. It's so comical, but it is also so prevalent in the story. It makes so much sense. She's like, bitch, can I get a new partner? This one keeps staring at me and is making me very insecure about my odors. Also, I love her outfit. I think it's so cute. The long sleeve with the green shirt. She's everything to me. Anyway, I figured I'd lend a hand. Be careful. 
Always am. And thanks for the tires. Yeah. Team Charlie. That's that's not a good thing to say because Team Edward and Team Jacob were referring to Bella's love interest, and I just said Team Charlie, which would be me referring to Charlie as Bella's love interest. Was that not what I was doing? I was not doing that. I was saying Team Charlie for myself. I'm Team Charlie. If I had to choose between Jacob, Edward, and Charlie, I would choose Charlie. What? Nothing. Uh. <laughs> And he has to ask her questions because he can't read her mind. He doesn't ask anyone else any questions. You don't like the guy? No, I mean, that's not, um, feels really nice. She's literally being seduced by him. Oh, he blinked. He blinked a lot in that two clips. He did, he blinked a lot because she was looking into his eyes. <gasps> oh my God, it all makes sense. This is the most ex exciting. My knight in shining armor. It's Edward Cullen. What's Edward's middle name? And the song when he makes his exit is so amazing. Edward, Edward, Edward Allen Cullen. Oh, Edgar Allen Poe. Edward Allen Cullen. Edward, Edward Isaac Cullen. How did you get over to me so fast? I was standing right next to you, Bella. Ah! No, you were next to your car, across the lot. No, I wasn't. My first introduction to gaslighting. <sighs> you stopped the van. You pushed it away with your hand. Well, nobody's gonna believe you. I wasn't gonna tell anybody. I... <laughs> She's like. <laughs> I just need to know the truth. He's like, well, who's gonna believe you? Yeah. Who would you believe? Me? Me, Edward Isaac Cullen? Or you, Bella freaking Swan? Who would you believe? Who would you believe? Ed Ballard. It was a really weird thing to put that in. An unnecessary use of their time and effort to make that mechanism to um, show that. It was a I saw the mechanism they used for it. It was so unnecessary for that scene. But it's the cover of the book, I get it. I don't know, just the way this film was directed, it looks, it's such a beautiful f film to watch. And I know I'm like talking about Twilight, like it's a, if it's a like cinematic masterpiece, but honestly, the shots are really aesthetically pleasing and they're like very pretty. She doesn't like that, man. You're pretty. Don't, don't touch really, me. Man. You really, no, she seriously, you should. Don't touch me. Oh! Look at that. Look at him. Get in the car. She's like, um, going from five creepy men to one creepy man, I'll take my chances. Is that really all you have to do to get people to back up from you? Because I feel like I could do that. Do I really need all the physical force in the world or can I just act like I'm crazy? Like actually crazy. Like if I do like the wild thornberry, like why don't we do why don't go? You should put your seatbelt on. <laughs> She's like, okay, I will. <laughs> like, what, what, what do you mean? Yeah, okay, I will put on my seatbelt. I think I should make sure Bella gets something to eat. If you'd like. I'll drive you home myself. Um... The fact that she's like, yeah. I would be like, um... By the way, you were just driving? Hell no. I will not get into a vehicle with you again, sir. Very protective of you. So you followed me. <laughs> she was like, so answer the question. No bullshit, answer the question. You were following me. I can read every mind in this room apart from yours. <laughs> She's just, imagine just, it's just to her. She's not thinking of anything. No thoughts, head empty. Bella Swan, that's it. Goodbye, end of story. He's like, bitch, how'd you find out? <laughs> Such a long walk. And everyone's like, everyone just probably sees them walking off. Like they're having sex in the woods. Why? Your skin, Your skin is, is pale white, white and ice, ice cold. cold. Your, Your eyes change color. And sometimes, sometimes you, you speak like you're, like you're from, from a different time. time. Look at that shot. <laughs> Looks insane, I love it. 
It looks insane. Vampire. Vampire. Oh my god. That's sexy. Are you afraid? But she's like, I would feel so proud of myself for cracking that. I would feel like I was I had a fatty brain. You're beautiful. What did he think she was gonna say? What the fuck did he think she was gonna say? Ew. Shiny. As if you could fight me off. He's just showing off at this point. I like, I like my, my own, own personal, personal brand, brand of heroin. heroin. What a wonderful line that they had to put in. So the lion fell in love with the lamb. <laughs> okay, metaphor. You sick masochistic lion. They're very- they're too much of a self-deprecating couple for me. I need a little bit more confidence from you guys. I'd rather die than stay away from you. That's awful. That's a weird fucking line. I'd rather die than stay away from you. The fact that this was deemed like the worst movie of the year it was released is absolutely insane. I've seen way worse movies than this. This is a masterpiece. It is amazing. World building? Check. Character development? Check. Bitch, fuck you, sit your ass down, and let's watch Twilight. I'm breaking all the rules now anyway. Since, Since I'm, going I'm going to going hell. hell. That was sexy, y'all. That was sexy. Is she even Italian? Her name is Bella. I'm sure she'll love it. I would. If a family that didn't eat anything made stuff for me, I'd be like, Bitch, let me taste it. I bet it tastes like shit. Hi, Bella. <gasps> I'm Alice. I'm Alice. My favorite oh, ever. Hi. Oh, you do smell good. Mmm. Mmm, you smell good. Pleasure to meet you. Battle scars. It's okay, Jasper. You won't hurt her. All right, uh, I'm gonna take you on. Literally, Edward's acting like they're all insane. Bitch. Do you remember yourself at the beginning of the movie? You acted just like them, so know your place. Alice is everything. Look at her outfit. I love her so much. Mm -hmm. I hate to say it, I really do, but none of them, neither of them know how to dance. And it is painful. What? That's the most painful thing. You better hold on, you tight, better hold spider on tight, spider monkey. <laughs> really, he's the spider monkey if we're talking about anything. Me? This kind of stuff just doesn't exist. It does in my world. Trees. <laughs> what? A horizon view? <laughs> doesn't exist in my world. You're just on the top of a tree. <laughs> this is beautiful, though. They're so cute! They're talking in a tree. Imagine she just fell off. <laughs> Sorry. That's amazing. They did an amazing job in this scene. They look like they are, like, so horny, but they can't do anything. Stop! Whoa! I'm sorry. That was a little bit goofy. I'm sorry so I'm so sexy. <laughs> He's, like, about to cry. <laughs> It's like, bitch, I just want to fuck. This is probably one of the most innovative, creative scenes I've ever seen in my entire life. Probably like one of the best things Stephanie Meyer's ever thought of in her entire life is this scene right here. The vampires playing baseball, you'd be like, what the fuck, does this make any sense? And it totally makes sense. Yes. Look at this, I wanted to be her. I was in love with Alice. You're out. Ow. Babe, come on, it's just a game. I like that it goes to the beat, it's like kind of fun. Look at that sexy ass Jasper, I see you. I saw that bat move and I know you practiced it. It's cute, it's sexy. I like how we're looking at James like he's crazy. It was like, okay, at the beginning of the film, it's like Edward's crazy because he looks at her like that. And then it was like Jasper's crazy because he looks at her like that. And now it's James looking at her is crazy for looking at her like that. Eat at the diner every night, steak and cobbler. Dad, that's you, that's not me. But he's the best dad ever. 
Bella, come on, I just... I just got you back! I just got you back. And then I'm just gonna be stuck here like mom. No! Like, it's like, don't do it, but you have to do it, but don't do it. Also, one of the defining features of vampires was that they drive very fast. Uh, that doesn't, just because you're a vampire doesn't mean you're exempt from the laws of traffic. Very visually dynamic. I can't believe I was watching this fool make a snuff film at age six. Isn't that kind of weird? Tell Edward how much it Why did he do that? Why did he do that? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's my knight in shining armor. There he is. But not stronger. I'm not strong enough to kill you. That's my man. That's literally my man. That him right there. That's Edward. Edward fucking Cullen, baby. He really fucks up right here, though. He shouldn't have done this. He ends up hurting her way more. These scenes in Twilight, though, did make me feel like I was going through the most. Like, I was crazy. I'm make it go away, bro. That's so- oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Literally, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna make it, go, make away. it go away. Oh my god! When he does, he makes it go away. I don't know anything he's saying. See, so you're dancing. I just want to dance with someone to this song. I just want to dance with someone to this song. Is that too much to ask for? It's so beautiful. I like how no one wants to stay in there with them. They're like, fuck this shit. These are the weird kids. Ever think about that? Bella and Edward are the weird kids at school. He's from the incest family and she's from Arizona. I don't know what being from Arizona does to you, but I guess she's weird now. I hate it that liking this movie is a way for people to make fun of teenage girls because it is a great movie. Like, I'm not just saying that, like, I watch shitty movies all the time. This is a great movie. It's great. My favorite parts of the pretty much it Twilight These commentary track is Twilight where they go, ew, moon. There he is. He looks fucking weird and no, Eclipse. He has really big sideburns in Eclipse. And it wasn't my favorite thing ever from him. It's not my favorite thing that they've done with Edward Cullen. Maybe I shouldn't be dating such an old man. Mm. It's gross. I should be thoroughly repulsed. But like, they're joking about it, but like, you should be. This is weird. The Volturi are a very old, very powerful family. I guess they're the closest thing in the royalty my world has. Bro, vampires live in a monarchy? That yeah. sucks. Paper cut. Also, what are the chances of her getting a paper cut? Insane. And Edward makes it 10 times worse by doing what he does. I, I just have to point that out. He doesn't help the situation at all. He pushes her back two feet. And but launches her back two feet. It's okay. It's just a little... Blood. <laughs> I like how they're like, um, I take that back. The only people that can control themselves is, the only person that can control themselves is Carlisle, because Carlisle is literally a doctor. He's around blood 24 seven and he controls himself. I'm just gonna ask one thing. Kiss me. Ah, cute. That's kind of cute. Does she not get frequent kisses from him? That's mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. I know it's because he wants to eat her. I mean, that's why they can't have frequent kisses, is because he wants to eat her, but like. Come on! That was a big fat moan into my ears. So come take a walk with me. Last time we took a walk to the woods, you. I called you out for being a vampire. What's gonna happen now? He comes to the woods to call her out for being gay. He's like, I know what you are. And she's like, say it. He's like, a lesbian. No! I'm just kidding. Imagine that. Love you. Lesbian rights. That's all I need in my life. Bars. And you can go on with your life without any interference from me. 
It'll be like I never existed, I promise. Uh, I beg to differ because I had a near-death experience last year, and now you're saying that it'll be like you never existed. You sucked venom out of me. That connects people. <laughs> It kind of sounds like she's like pooping, I'm gonna be honest. But like you see how hard it is for him because he doesn't want to leave her, but he has to because he thinks he's protecting her. Edward. She she walked and she actually found him. He was just like around the corner. He was like, I thought you would go home by now. He's like crying in the corner, <laughs> like behind the tree. She actually finds him. She's like, I Edward, I found you. I was expecting that. But as someone who has experienced, um, like, a episode similar to this, you think laying in the woods is, like, a fucking crazy thing to do. Like, who in their right mind would do that? But the thing is, is that you're not in your right mind. Laying on the floor while you are actually, like, it's like in the middle of an episode is like so i don't know why it brings so much comfort to me so i understand and i get it twilight has one of the worst representations of mental health ever in media like going on side of like 13 reasons why like i'm not saying that this doesn't happen to people i'm not saying that people go through this. Obviously, people go through this. It's not uncommon. What I'm saying is, is that the movie portrays her attachment to Edward as the only thing that keeps her going. She doesn't regain full happiness until she meets up with him again. That is codependency at its finest. That is really bad for mental health. So it's a very poor representation. The depression part is not poor representation. This happens to people. That's real. It's awful. But the fact that she goes back to him and then suddenly everything is okay is not good for anyone to see. It's not good for mental health representation at all. The fact that either therapy does not exist in movies or it is the worst therapy ever is so frustrating to me. Bella! Where the, Where the hell, hell have you have been, you been, been Loka? Loka? Where the hell have you been, Loka? Where the hell have you been, Loka? Since when are you into motorcycles? Since now. I like how everyone's like, you don't have a personality. We have no idea what you're interested in. Everything you say you're interested in seems out of character. Great. This is yeah. the worst scene ever. Why did they make this a scene in the movie? It's so bad. Look at this shit. Look at this! She's just sitting in between two guys that absolutely are obsessed with her! While well, she's still pining over the guy that left her in the middle of the woods! Why was there ever a thing of Edward versus Jacob? Like, who sh will she get end up with? Because it was like, it obviously it was gonna be Edward. Edward was the lesser of two evils. I'm never gonna run right. So I should be fair to you. You literally have situational depression over your ex that left you and then your depression goes away as soon as you get, jump right back into his arms. It's infuriating. I wish, I fucking wish depression went away when I jumped into the arms of the person I loved. What the hell? They did the effects in this one a lot better, I think. I think the flashing of her running instead of the full speed, that was one of the things they improved on a lot from the first movie, was the running and the speed the portrayal. And they choose to do a lot more running in slow-mo than they did in the first movie, which I think was a really smart decision. Dude, you gotta admit that they keep her stupid they keep her stupid level equal throughout the entire franchise. Very good continuity. Breathe. Oh, that is sexy. Breathe. That is a sexy ass shot. It looks so good. What is that 
god awful wet dog smell. What did they want us to do in that moment? That's my question is what did you want me to do there? Huh. This was so, so climactic. Like I was literally on the edge of my seat when I watched this first time. I was like, <gasps> it's so amazing. Alive. You have to move. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. Oh my god. This is when I like my heart like gets all warm because they're like in love. And I like You're everything to me. You're everything. everything. Aww. You're everything. Aww. I love them. I really do. At the core, a simple girl with basic needs, and I just love them. I love you. You are one son of a bitch. You are insufferable most of the time, 99% of the time. Can you please just let me do what I want with my life? I definitely used you a lot in this movie as a placeholder for Edward, but can you just let me do what I want with my life? I don't love you that much, dude. Now what a beautiful, beautiful film. People say that their least favorite is Eclipse, and I don't agree with that. I love Eclipse. I thought it was a fun, fun movie. I think my ranking goes from like Twilight, oh, Breaking Down Part 2, Eclipse, New Moon, Breaking Down Part 1. Well, I think you'll find the uh, vampire human divorce rate is a little lower. Well, I think vampire vampire divorce rate is probably way higher because like you could stay with each other for hundreds of years and still get divorced and then marry someone else for hundreds to hundreds of years and you spend a whole lifetime with them and you get a divorce. So I feel like the vampire divorce rate is much higher than the human one. Just saying. It's like he's willing to leap in front of you and take a bullet or something. Not a bad thing. It's an intense thing. You're different with him. Imagine Bella Swan in a therapy session the amount of things that the therapist would be like at her saying is like so insane. Imagine Edward Cullen, Edward Isaac Cullen in a fucking therapy session. What would that be like? Make it happen. Someone write it. I don't know. I could care less what you need. All right. We're done here. No, you're done here. Stop! I'm tired of this. I'm now I'm in Switzerland, okay? Nice. Ew! Ew! This is like a fucking dick measuring contest. It's in, it's it's disgusting. Condescending. I love this scene. I love a training scene, and this has to be in my top. Some of my top training scenes. We have X Men First Class and Eclipse right next to each other, baby. Right next to each other, baby. They're making love right now. Carlisle's right. That's why they are created. A newborn army. Doesn't need thousands, thousands like, like a human, human army. army. Well, yeah. Well, why would a human army be able to stand against a newborn vampire army? You would be like a vampire army wouldn't be able to stand against a newborn army. No shit, a human army wouldn't be able to stand against them. Never go for the, for the obvious, obvious kill. kill. They'll be expecting that. With you in my head is such a good song. I love this training scene. It's so good. Like, it's so good. It's so wonderful. Oh, and this is so romantic and I love that. They're so romantic and cute. They're in love and I love that so much. <laughs> if I can have a relationship like Jasper and Alice, what's the point? What's the point, y'all? Literally, what's the point of being here? Those bites are like mine. Right, ready? Battle scars. Battle scars. Battle scars, baby. He didn't have a country accent throughout this entire thing, and then in this scene, he suddenly gets a twang. Battle scars. She pulled the strings. I didn't know there was another way until I found Alice. It's so cute. Now she's seen me coming, coming of course. <laughs> it's so cute. Long enough. That's so cute. And once you realize what happened to Alice, and then she finds Jasper, it's. Oh. 
it freaking they're, they're they're so perfect for each other i want to love like alice and jaspers what can i say they're so cute and their stories mean so much more when you realize their backstory i'll marry you just try well you'll see when he tries we'll see you'll see when he tries what happens because you're too horny this is a good scene though oh my god he pulls her on top of her oh my god wait this is good sorry like it doesn't look I don't know, it doesn't look awkward to me. Stop trying to take your clothes off. <laughs> Not tonight. Stop trying to get naked in front of me. I don't want to see any of that. It's not my virtue I'm concerned about. It's just one rule I want to leave unbroken. That's the rule you're concerned about. That's the rule you're worried about? having sex before marriage bitch you've killed people that's the one you want to keep virginity seeing a virgin until you're married the social construct virginity means nothing edward cullen it means nothing the flower taking your flower such a fucking misogynistic thing by the way virginity in itself is pretty misogynistic if you think about it if a girl if a girl losing her virginity it's lost it's a man taking her flower the 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 analogies for it all resume in someone taking something from you you lose nothing virginity is a construct you can't lose it you can't keep it it's not real it doesn't matter and i would have presented you with a ring It is god awful. This is my mother's. Well, it's fucking disgusting and I hate it. Isabella Swan, I promise to love you every moment forever. I can't listen to anything you say because that ring is so god awful. Like, it's literally not even Bella's aesthetic, by the way, too. Bella definitely gives off a dainty little stone maybe even like you know a, a nature inspired ring maybe a crystal she would look wonderful in that and you chose her to give her that ugly fucking ring from your mom from the who knows when it's disgusting it's gross that's what it is it looks like a golf ball <laughs> This is like such a similar scene. <laughs> I hate to compare it to this. I really do. I hate to compare it to this scene right now, but it is the same scene as Brokeback Mountain <laughs> where Jake Gyllenhaal says to Heath Ledger, get in here. And then they get in there and then Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal all bear back it. She may need her toes someday. And let's face it, I am hotter than you. Jacob, why the fuck do you have to say that shit? Like, there's literally no reason to say that. Obvi First of all, it's just kind of disrespectful at this point. It's like disrespectful to their relationship and we're tired of it. And second of all, it's very bad. As a way to get out Edward, it is the worst thing you could do. I'm so sorry. Jake, please. I'm done. This is the worst scene ever. And I used to have an opinion that it was like, Bella that was bad but really jacob is literally in the wrong completely this man has put you through hell give me one good reason the fact that he's threatening to kill himself he's literally threatening to kill himself because she does not love him back jacob kiss me i'm asking you to kiss me the fact that he doesn't kill himself just because he got a little smooch is by far one of the worst things to be portrayed in media by far it's gotta be the worst why he literally was like now that i got a kiss i might have a chance so i won't kill myself remember she's also getting married to edward but i got a kiss so it's fine <sighs> you, you want, want her, her. You want me to feel, feel the pain, the pain you, you felt, felt when I killed James? When, when I, I tore him to pieces. pieces. 
when I turned him, him into, into ash. ash. When, when I, I turned, turned him, him into, into nothing. nothing. Technically, you didn't do that. I have to say it. I have to be a little techni technical person right here, but you didn't do that. It was actually your sibling, so I just have to point that out. He, you were sucking out the venom from Bella's blood while they were doing that, while they were doing the little kumbaya back there by the fire. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is where she's like, I'm smart. She's like, I'm a smart girl right here. And I'm smarter than the third wife because I didn't kill myself. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Ooh, ooh. I'm sorry, but Bryce Dallas Howard is so good. She deserved way more screen time in this movie. Am I right? I'm so right. She deserved way, way more screen time. She's so amazing. I love Bryce Dallas Howard. Should have had more lines in this movie. She didn't get enough credit. I was worried about you. And by the way, I just hate, I just have to point this out again. I hate love triangles. I think they're the worst thing ever. And the fact that they were so prevalent in this era of young adult fiction, it was just too much for me. Love triangles are quite literally the worst thing ever. And not because I'm like, oh my God, I'm frustrated to choose. I already know who I like. It doesn't really make it a difficult choice. The writer always makes one of them a complete asshole. So it's not really that difficult to choose, but I'm just saying I'm over the drama of it. I like stuff that's a little bit more, you know, creative, I would say. I just think the whole love triangle is just so boring. It's like, and it's just kind of like, ew. Like, I'm just saying, a little overdone for me. He's angry about it, but like also like he knew this. Like, it's not like he was it it makes it seem like he was caught off by surprise. When in the last movie, he threatened to kill himself because she didn't love him. Which he already knew, by the way. She's been telling him since New Moon that she doesn't love him. Poor Charlie. Literally, Charlie literally goes through the most and he's still the best character. Always in a flannel. Everything to me. Ah, Edward's back, baby, and he looks good. I, just, I wanted to know how it felt to hunt. I wish they made him actually do something bad, though. Because it was like, it was too, like, oh my god, yeah, he killed people, but he didn't kill anyone. He just killed bad people. So, Edward's still our knight in shining Edward. He's still good. Which I feel like is kind of like a cop out, you know? And he feels guilty for it. Which almost makes it worse. Like, yeah, I killed rapists. What the fuck? All the men I killed were monsters. And so was I. Edward, they were all murderers. Oh, did I hate to bring up real murderers, but in the Twilight universe, how many real life serial killers were still still got away with what they got away with in the Twilight universe? Did Ted Bundy get away with everything he did in the Twilight universe, or did Edward here take care of him? I is that such a weird question to ask? In the world of Twilight, what infamous serial killers are still there or did our Cullens take care of them thousands of weddings now have turning page as their wedding song and that's so okay don't feel basic don't feel embarrassed to say that turning page is going on at your wedding because it's going on at mine it's a song that has brought me to tears many, many times. I want this wedding. She looks like in pain. But then she sees Edward and Stephanie Meyer. She she looks at Stephanie Meyer and she's like, I feel calm now. <laughs> we don't even know who Stephanie Meyer is in this world. But Stephanie Meyer sees herself as Bella. She wants to be with Edward. Like, Stephanie Meyer has a weird thing with Robert Pattinson, right? Look how beautiful her dress is, though. It's so gosh darn beautiful. 
gonna cry. <laughs> They're so in love. She's so beautiful, and he's so beautiful. Weddings don't make me cry, but this one does. So. They're so in love, and I'm, I'm like tearing up. <laughs> They're playing the song that they danced to at prom. They're so in love with each other. I have to say, they did not say any vows to each other. They're in love with each other, and they're married. <laughs> he really does have to ruin every like happy moment they have. Like this is such a sweet moment between them, and he's like, "Let me fuck it up." It's not like you're gonna have a real honeymoon with him anyway. It's gonna be as real as anyone else's. That's a sick joke. You are joking. Yeah, we're gonna fuck. What do you mean it's not gonna be real? We're gonna fuck. Is the whole point of a honeymoon just to have sex? Cause I feel like it's just a vacation with sex. You're gonna fuck? I like how this is why he gets so upset at him. They're like, we all know what this bed is for. It's such a weird scene of them looking at the bed and being like, we're gonna fuck. We're gonna fuck so hard. Like. You can see it in their eyes, they're like, that's the sex bed. Mmm. Looks good to have sex on. La! Do you wanna go for a swim? You won't go for a swim? Yeah, that sounds amazing. You, you won't go for a swim? <laughs> I wonder what he has to think to like calm down so he doesn't fucking fuck her to death that's literally what this scene is though it's a scene of him being like i don't want to fuck my wife to death because if i lose control she'll die splinters that's all i can think of splinters so how does vampire sex work that's my real question how does vampire sex work? If they're super fast, like, what does that even look like? It would just be like a blur to us. Well, how you curl your lips when you concentrate enough? Well, I would have known what I was living for. Please. I know it's like an emotional scene between them and she's just like please 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 edward oh, damn yeah why didn't she just go on top through this wouldn't that be the prime position you would want to do if you want him in the least amount of control you would put her on top don't come in here you don't need to see this it's sickness and health remember what the, the fact that their relationship they have not had any weird like bodily fluid issues grossness happen in front of each other before their honeymoon is really weird like i feel like if they love each other that much i feel like she shouldn't like i feel like they should be a little bit more open can you tell me what's going on i'm, I'm late my period's late do vampires fart no vampires don't fart poop pee Nothing. They don't throw up. Oh my god, that's insane. Edward's never farted. <laughs> you can't headcanon Edward farting because that doesn't work as a vampire. Edward does not fart. It doesn't make sense though. Like, logically it does not make sense because did he have semen to impregnate her with? So they must know that it's like somehow possible because he must have ejaculated, right? I know I'm getting very into detail about it, but like, if he didn't, that wouldn't be possible at all. Because you have to have a semen, you have to have a little sperm for the egg. 
And if he didn't ejaculate, then that don't happen. Literally, it's like, what the fuck? And the fact that we missed out on the two weeks of her being back is uh, upsetting, to say the least. I feel like there was so much drama in those two weeks. I wish we saw her when she first came back and they were like fighting over like, what the hell what it is. Guess we don't get everything we want. Oh. I love wolves. I just love it. I love wolves. And I love that w vampires and wolves have, like, beef. And, like, I don't really know where it stems from. And, like, the whole urban legend of it. I just think it's fun. This is, like, Transformers. You know what I mean? When the, when the robots talk to each other. And then... Never mind. I take it back. It's kind of cool. I... Will not. I am the grandson of Ephraim Black. I am the grandson of a chief. I was born to follow you or anyone else. Dude, fuck yeah. Sorry, I don't like Jacob, but I love that scene. It's goofy, and I love it for that reason. But you decided this on your own. You've decided to leave me. Don't see it that way. Well, I have no other way to see it. Because it's me who'll lose you. And I don't choose that. The fact that they get married because she wants to turn into a vampire. He doesn't want her to turn into a vampire, by the way. But he makes his ultimatum. I want you to get- I want to get married before you turn. Okay. And then she gets pregnant. <laughs> Like, literally, this is not anything that he wanted. All of this is going for her. Like, she wants to do all of this. <laughs> he had, like, no say in it. She was like, I want to become a vampire. And he's like, I don't want you to become a vampire. And she's like, but I want to. And he's like, well, I want to get married. And then she's like, eh, okay, but I want to have sex. And then he's like, okay. And then she's like, oh, I got a baby. And then he's like, I want the baby to die. And she's like, oh, I want to keep it. <laughs> I think you might be right. Jacob just had an idea. It wasn't an idea. It was a snide comment. What were you thinking? That it's probably just looking for someone to sink its teeth into. You're fucking annoying. I don't like you at all. You're fucking... Shut up. You thought of it. The fact... Okay, they had a styrofoam cup on the... On ready at this house where they don't eat anything. And they don't drink anything either. And they had a styrofoam cup on hand. You want to see it go up the straw, right? Because I do. Ew! Like the fucking nastiest smoothie ever. And it like stays on her lips too. <laughs> vampire surgery it's not fun vampire surgery i wouldn't want it look at me bella oh whoa 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 this is insane right right this is the it, it's absolutely insane stay focused keep your heart beating this scene in the theater absolutely insane makes me like upset actually this scene in theater is like within a dark fucking big ass movie theater made me feel like i was going insane what is that ready it's my, it's my venom. venom i love the way he says that what a great delivery robert pattinson it's my venom it's supposed to be working for a romantic fiction movie, this is one of the most horrifying scenes ever, right? Like, it's really disturbing. This scene, so disturbing. Why'd they do this to me? Like, who was like, let's make Twilight a fucking horror movie? Horrifying. Jesus Christ. There was no need to make it that fucking graphic. Oh. 
Ew, look at that face. There's no need to make the baby look like that. Like, yeah, you want it to look at the camera, just fucking dangle something shiny behind it. You don't need to do a CGI face. It's like... gravity. It's weird. Your whole center shifts. Ew! Why'd you Suddenly do this Suddenly it's her? not the earth holding you here. It's weird. He's like, fuck, I just imprinted on a baby. What the fuck am I gonna do now? Stephanie Meyer, out of pocket for making him imprint on a baby. Jacob imprinted. They can't hurt her. Whoever a wolf imprints on can't be harmed. Who made up that? And Edward's like, thank you? But also like, ew. Like, that's my child, right? He's like, thank you, but also like, that's my child. You have a really weird dynamic now, and I don't know what to say about that. We have a very weird dynamic going on. I don't like the energy that's in the studio today. It's really weird. I really have to say, this has got to be one of the best ending movies ever created. It's so good. Like, I am not even just saying that. Like, I genuinely think this is, like, one of the best finales, final movies in, like, a franchise like this ever. She's like, damn, I'm so fucking hot. I get why you love me, because I'm 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 really hot. <laughs> you look amazing, Bella. Someone's been waiting to meet you. Ew! Ew! Look at that thing! It's scary! No, it's like not fun to look at. <laughs> like the face is weirdly proportioned on the head. I don't like it. like they didn't need to do it. That's the thing, is that they didn't need to do this. Do you remember how much you wanted to be around me three days ago? That's gone now, right? Long gone. Because it was her. From the beginning, it was Nessie who wanted me there. Nessie? You didn't need my fedora after the walk this monster? Oh, wow. What an amazing line. The fact that that was, she caught that so quick, I would not have caught that Loch Ness, Mon Loch Ness Monster. That's not what would come to my mind. I'd been like, that's just a gross name. I would be like, you nickname my baby after Nestle Toll House? Maybe I'm built a little different. Loch Ness Monster doesn't come to mind a lot, but now it does. Vampires don't sleep. It's not intended for sleep. <laughs> it's not intended for sleeping, it's intended for fucking and oops. I'll be honest this scene I don't like it I don't like it I'll say that <laughs> yep that's what the vampire O feels like <laughs> it's so goofy just like make a normal sex scene. Make me a normal PG-13 sex scene. You don't need to be, it doesn't need to be like this. It doesn't need to be like this. I mean, how are we gonna stop? <laughs> how are we gonna stop having sex? I don't know, I don't know how we're gonna stop having sex. I wonder how many fans of Twilight were like, yeah, like they were so excited about that. They're like, yeah, they got to have sex as vampires. Like, how excited were they about that? Nobody said anything about leaving. Once people believe Bella's dead, we can't risk anyone seeing her. So you just disappear. In my last video on this, I was really confused. I was like, why did Jacob tell Charlie about him being a werewolf? And then people explained to me and they were like, dumb bitch. They really yelled at me. They weren't very nice about it. And they said that he had to tell Charlie about being a werewolf so Charlie could understand that there is something else going on. So it wouldn't be breaking the rules of the Volturi to tell a human that there's vampires, but he could tell Charlie that they're werewolves. And I didn't understand that before. People definitely gave me a run for my money on that one. Did not let me rest. Very much yelled at me in not a nice way. 
I understand now. Wow. I think the transformation into the wolf is so fun. It's like a little woof. Ah, I love that. It's like a shoop I And he problem. like, mm. I love Jacob and wolf form so much more. I missed you, Bills. Aw, like really? God damn it. Like that's what, that's, this is why we have to start like, what the fuck? Look at that little mm. shit. Ew. Ew. It literally looks gross. Ew. Look at that awful shadow they tried to make on her forehead. It's awful. But I never felt more alive. She's like weird. She's like weirdly obsessed with- Ew. She's like really weirdly obsessed with being a vampire. And like- that's weird because it's like Stephanie Meyer writes Bella as herself. Like Stephanie Meyer sees herself as Bella. So Stephanie Meyer has a weird obsession about being a vampire and like, ew, it's almost like she's like fetishizing them. Not saying that you can fetishize mythical beings. Gather as many witnesses as you can before the snow sticks to the ground. That's when they'll come. How did no one else figure out this simple clue that she did? It was from a book. Go check the book. Like, why was Bella the only one that caught on to that? Is everyone else just fucking dumb as shit? Because, like, it's a pretty obvious clue. Like, if I was on The Amazing Race and I got that, I'd get that in, like, two seconds. I don't know why everyone else was so dumb dumb about it. Amu, please. I can't help you, Carlisle. I wouldn't Here's my favorite much. guy. You Here's my favorite guy coming. Oh my god! Oh my god! Incredible. He has the best power. Come on. Control of the elements. Rami Malik things. When were you a Rami Malik stan in your life? Mine was about 2018. Yeah, it happened. Oh, that's so cute. That's so, that's, that's so cute. I like that scene. That's so cute. Edward, dad. Dad, Edward. Yeah, Dilf. Again, a Dilf. Young Ben. This is my favorite part. I hear a strange heart. Michael Sheen really gave us that cackle. Give me a cackle, Michael. They said, Michael, give us a cackle. This child is bigger. And your allegations were false. The Cullens are innocent. I take full responsibility for my mistake. There are no mistakes in this world. They're like, you've wasted so much time. Death is the only option. Oh, shit. Bring him a torch to battle. She made a false allegation. Very big false allegation. Should she die? No. Should she maybe get like a punishment? I would say. Jane versus Bella. Oh shit! Oh shit! We thought Bella was gonna be the least threat, least threatening to Jane. Turns out she's the most threatening. Get it, sis! They are really just in a dick measuring contest at this point. They literally just like, mm, let's see who's more powerful and more threatening. <gasps> Alice. Alice. I love it that Alice is Arrow's favorite. He just like loves her. He just, oh my God, it's Alice. She can predict the future. Oh my God, she can see the future. He, uh, Arrow loves Alice. Oh my God, it, this in the theater. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, this is everything. What the fuck? Oh my god! Like, this is where you knew, like, everything was. Look at his little smile. Everyone's like, what the fuck? This was like screams in the theater. Gasps. Everyone, all shit. All fucking shit. Everyone's. Ah! Don't. 
Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, Jane was a bitch for this one though. She was a big, big bitch for this one. That was a bitch move, right? And Jasper's like a great fighter. That's why they had to get him out early because he's so good at fighting. <gasps> no, oh my God, that's, that was when I was like, what the fuck? Cause like Jasper, 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 what? In your face, you kill Jasper, I'll kill your little shit of a brother, Alec. And Alec never got to use his powers. He never got to use his powers in this scene, cause fuck him, right? Yeah, fuck that little bitch. You knew it was Seth because it looked just like Jake. Oh no, 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 This was fucked up. Jane was a bitch for this one. I loved Jane until this. Bitch, that was my Seth. That was my Seth, my baby, like, uh, Oh! Seth was everyone's favorite. You kill Seth, I kill you. Like, it was just, why would you kill Seth? Seth was, oh my God, Seth was, oh. I just wanted to cry. Insane, but also casualties on both sides. So I can't say if it was a smart decision or not. But I love you, Benjamin. Don't take it personal. You're the best ever. Mwah. He's, he's amazing though, he's uh, everything to me. Oh, fuck yeah, I love it when Edward pulls off someone's head. Ah! <laughs> I have to say it. This, right here. This is the most epic thing I've ever watched in my entire life. Oh shit, fuck you, literally. Look at her go. Look at Alice. She's so hot. She's so sexy. She's everything I ever want. Oh, run away, Dakota Fanning. Run away, Jane. Bitch, I'm coming after you. Yeah, you killed. You killed Leia and Seth. I fucking kill you. Oh, that's everything. That's. Yeah, we're angry. We're mad about it. We're so. Oh, that's so. Oh. The fact that he was such an easy kill was like, it was embarrassing for him. Look how fast he dies. Whoa! Yeah, in your face, bitch. Okay, we're gonna do a little maneuver. This was weird. What the fuck? I don't think the arrow ending was that fun. Oh shit, look at this, watch out. Oh! Bam! Popped off. Popped off and popped off. Oh shit. There's like Dementors coming out of the scenes. <gasps> that was when the whole audience gasped and they were like, it's not real. Regardless, the Cullens have been consorting with werewolves, our natural enemies. They're like, calm down, bitch. He was like, <laughs> Arrow was like, I saw you in the vision. You died pathetically quick. It was embarrassing. I don't think you should talk right now. I love it. I'm sorry. I love it. I love the best of both worlds. I love having the epic fight scene and then the overall happy ending that everyone's still alive. I love it. It's not very good for storytelling, I will admit. It's not the best movie ever, but I think if you're in a franchise like this where no matter what ending you'll do, someone's gonna be mad, giving them the best of both worlds of having that epic fight scene that everyone loved from the book, heightening it to be like, they changed everything. They made all these characters die that didn't die and then making it so no one really died is kind of, kind of a boss move by the movie makers. I'm just saying, screenplay girl, And you choose to, and it's, it's a death sentence for me. And I guess Jacob doesn't age like, he doesn't age like humans though. Like I heard that he ages slower than humans because he's a werewolf or whatever. Oh, supposedly, I don't know. So 
he's gonna be around for a long time too i guess guys we have been on a journey literally yesterday today we've watched all the twilight movies we've marathoned them we've experienced it all with them and honestly i could probably get a little emotional after this i love this so much call me a freak call me whatever you want i love twilight i love it i understand the issues but it's still gonna be super comforting to me these past two days have been comforting to me i absolutely in love with twilight the story this journey that they've been on I fucking love it. It is so goddamn beautiful. It's so wonderful. I am so in love with it. And the fact that there was an overwhelming hate for it and an overwhelming love for it is insane. And it's 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 so iconic. It's so relevant to our lives. It is so frustrating that there was a time where people's personality trait was hating on any teenage girl that liked Twilight. That was what people decided to do with their time. Mostly men that decided to make fun of every teenage girl that liked Twilight. And honestly, fuck them. Because this movie, this movie series, is one of the most iconic movie series of our time. They're so a part of our lives. They're good, they're bad, but they're twilight what are you gonna do they're twilight and you have to accept it for what it is it's twilight and i love it there's issues but i love it it's oh my god thank you twilight so much that is it for today guys i hope you like this video i hope you liked marathoning twilight with me this is probably going to be the longest video i post this is five movies, five commentaries in one. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it. I have not watched Twilight in such a long time because I wanted to have the full experience of revisiting it with you guys and I was just anticipating filming this for the longest time. I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I will see you in my next video. I love you guys so much, and I love Twilight. And anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.